Hi everyone, this is Shalu Kumar again from ONTCM, an experienced OSCE nurse trainer for the NMC OSCE exam in UK and also the lead trainer for OSCE nurse training Cambridge. I'm back with another video for you for adult NMC OSCE exam. So if you like my videos, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel. Uh, so yes, me, thank you for all those lovely comments you've been uh, sending that the videos are helping you to pass your exam, hopefully the first time if we can. So yes, please send, keep sending those comments and please keep liking the videos okay so in today's video we're going to look at another evidence-based practice station today which is your written station for 10 minutes in your exam we will be looking at the topic of dementia and music therapy okay uh, it's not a complex topic but it's definitely just need a little bit deeper understanding so i'm going to show you a scenario then i am going to show you a little study i found online and then we are going to understand what you should what what does is music good for dementia not good for dementia we will talk about a little bit and then we're going to write our answers together for the recommendation for our patient so so you know this is a written station, it's a 10 minute station, you will get a scenario, you will also get a little research study article to read and then you'll be given a blank page to write your answers. So that's how the evidence based practice stations go. Okay, so let's look at today's topic. So uh, you will be given a scenario as you can see on your screen. Then you will be given a little, uh, little research article to read as you can see on your screen and then you are going to get a blank page like this to write your answers okay so that's what you will be given so uh, so if we just look at the scenario first so we're going to read it together so you are nurse working in outpatient neurology clinic one of the dementia patients mrs sarah jones is attending the clinic with her daughter Mrs. Jones' daughter has heard that new research shows that music therapy can help with dementia and she's asking you if her mother can benefit from music therapy. So, okay, so that's clear that you got a patient, long-term dementia, progressive probably, and she, this lady is worried about her mother. She heard uh, that music can help and she's asking, will you recommend that for her mother? So, okay, so we're going to give her some recommendation. We've been given this article now article maybe this one maybe different one i can't guarantee you it will be the same article i can't guarantee you that all the answers will be straightforward in there that's not how research studies are written uh, so you really need to know your evidence-based practice already in this topic not depending on the article which is given to you on that day because it will be very difficult to read in 10 minutes and write your answers and sometimes answers are hidden so it's not that straightforward so but let's discuss doesn't matter what study you're given let's discuss what are the current evidence for uh, music if music can help dementia patients so first thing to think is there has been studies done and there was a study where every patient had like the, the people in the study had patient had at least five sessions of music therapy and it has shown uh, some good effect on the patient so they have the, it has shown some benefits that's the first thing second thing is now there are lots of different symptoms uh, which can affect dementia patients so agitation depression overall quality of life now what music does is the evidence shows that it helps with the symptom of depression there is a good evidence that it helps with the symptom of depression uh, for patient with dementia because you know that's quite common symptom for patient of dementia because of memory loss and um, confusion it, it does cause depression so music therapy can help with the symptom of depression of lifting the mood and everything but does it help with agitation there is no evidence does he help with overall quality of life improving quality of life there is some evidence means obviously you know the evidence is not that that straightforward there okay so but for depression we know it helps with depression but as to improving overall quality of life uh, the evidence is not compelling it's not clear evidence it may do but it's not clear evidence um so other thing to think is we don't know how long the effect is going to last because music therapy uh, you know it can't be continued forever so we don't know when they finish those five sessions or ten sessions whatever is it gonna last one year five months four months five days we don't know so we really don't know 
and there is no clear evidence how long the effects created by music therapy will last so these are the main points okay so the the, the most important point is yes it can help with the symptom of depression but not with agitation we don't know about whether it will improve quality of life or we don't know how long the effect will last so let's go ahead and write those answers now so what we will say we will say we have read the article and we will say yes we conclude that uh, music can help with the uh, symptom of depression uh, with dementia patients but there are some limitations to the effects okay so here we go the first one is i will inform sarah's daughter that research trials have been conducted where music therapy has been introduced for patients with dementia and evidence shows that there are some benefits the patient involved in the study had all had at least five music therapy sessions second one is i will let sarah's daughter I will tell Sarah's daughter that there is a lack of evidence that music therapy can improve symptoms of agitation, which we already talked about. Number three is I will explain to Sarah's daughter that current research available suggests some evidence to show that music therapy can positively improve uh, depression in people with dementia and the, it may provide a reason for implementing music therapy. I will inform Sarah's daughter that music therapy may have a positive effect on the overall quality of life for people with dementia but this evidence is less reliable than the evidence on depression number five is and the last one i will inform sarah's daughter that there is no clear evidence uh, on how long the effect created by music therapy will last after the activity stops so these are the main answers of course i've not written the conclusion point on the top but you can just write what you concluded on the top or you could just write i write i have read the article and write my bullet points below okay so you know how to do that one so i just left that one by giving you the main points which you need to write so i hope you like this video and you understand this topic better uh, so uh, and i uh, hopefully it will help you to write these answers so uh, if you want more information about our training you can email us on oski nurse training at outlook.com you can also visit us on oski nurse training.com that's our website and you can also check us our google reviews and i will soon be back with another video video for you and don't forget to like and subscribe so see you soon